Hi and welcome back to sunny San Diego guys at least for right now as I'm hearing reports that we're about to get straight dunked on tomorrow with rain but I want to talk to you here today about a position that I 100% sold out of completely exited the position I want to talk to you about why I did this um, talk to you a little bit about pros and cons on this particular coin and what I'm looking to do uh, going forward. All I ask is if you like this type of content, go ahead and drop an X in the comment section below. Mark the spot, click the like button, share the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, today, I 100% sold out of Polygon. Now, this is a coin I haven't talked about a whole lot on the channel, but I've kind of been in and out of since 2021. Now, before I get started, I am not extremely bearish on Polygon, right? I think Polygon is going to do just fine in the upcoming bull run. However, there are things that I'm much more bullish on at this point in time. Now, I had too much exposure, I'm gonna be honest with you, and my personal opinion on proof of stake. Proof of stake coins I've had too much exposure on, and I'm not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing to be in proof of stake, but if I'm going to get into proof of stake in a heavy way, still before prior Bitcoin halving, I'm going to do it with Algorand. Algorand is one that I have some stake, right? I, I do have some stake in the game with Algorand, but not enough, not nearly enough. So that is one that I'm looking to dollar cost average and get more uh, involved in, in in the next couple months. Along with that, I don't want to be over leveraged with a layer two. I think that layer twos are going to do good in this upcoming bull run. And I also think, you know, Polygon's going to serve the whole narrative of gaming. We've been talking a lot about gaming. But with that, you know, I'm getting into Avalanche. I'm getting into AVAX, like I told you all the other night. And they, I believe, are going to perform better in that whole narrative. So with that, you know, there's nothing against uh, Polygon or I don't have anything necessarily against Polygon, you've got great tokenomics, fully diluted market cap, great partnerships. Now I will say with the partnerships, a lot of these are paid. And so I want all of us to be on the same page there too. Yes, they are working with Nike, Starbucks, other big partnerships out there, but that's part of what's got me a little bit bearish as well as, is it sustainable in the long term? I know Dominique from the CEO of uh, Internet Computer, ICP, talked on, what was it, the, the uh, Baron show recently about how is that sustainable? You know, some of these partnerships that they have out there, you have to understand are paid partnerships. They put a lot of money uh, forward to get in and say that they've got a partnership with Starbucks, Nike, and so forth. And I'm not saying that's not legit. It is 100% legit. But the main thing here is I don't want to be over leveraged in proof of stake. I don't want to be over leveraged in uh, a layer two. And I do believe that we are going to see better returns with Algorand. Highly, highly un, uh, undervalued at just 15 cents. Now it's came up a little bit over the past few months, but at 15 cents, it is way off from all time highs. Now Polygon is very undervalued as well. And so a lot of people are sleeping on Polygon. So if you're actually looking to get in, now I would say is a good time. But going back to Algorand, I think right there, you're going to have a much, much better bet in my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below, but there's several things I like about Algorand. I wanna be in projects that I'm pretty confident and actually know right now are working with big governments, countries, corporations, universities around the world. I think many of you understand that's big for me. And I do like the founder of uh, Algorand, you know, MIT, professor as well as uh, Avalanche has a, I believe from Cornell is that professor. So I like the brains behind the project. But again, a lot of people talk about this layer two polygon being solving scalability issues. When you take a look at Algorand, you've still got the great transactions, the fast transactions. You're talking about scalability of the world, helping actual countries and governments scale. And so, so again, with that, you know, you can't hold everything. I wanted to get out of Polygon because Algorand, for one, I'm trying to uh, trying to get some more stake in the game with Quant as well, QNT, before with the fireworks go off uh, after the Bitcoin halving. 
And so I thought it was a good idea right now for me, right, to move into USDC, take a look at Algorand very closely and kind of average in more on big dip days, which I do expect us to have before prior to the Bitcoin halving. This is a position that I really want to grow and get set up for after that Bitcoin halving. So with all of that, let me know your guys' thoughts, your opinions out there. Do you think this was a good move, a bad move? You think I'm an idiot for getting out of Polygon? as I 100% uh, sold off, got out of my position here today. Thank you all for all your support. Appreciate every single one of you. Love all of you. Appreciate the comments. And we will see you all in the next video.